to a planned sleepover after presentation of petitions by the inter-party resistance group against the creation of a voters register did not materialize. After hours of demonstration, the group presented two petitions to the government and the EC but failed to sleep at the EC as widely speculated. Here is Komla Kruche's report. They appeared in their numbers, impressed. The organizers were bent on drumming home their demand for just one thing. You are not going to allow your constituents to go and register if the Leonard Commission goes No one will register in Ghana. No one will register in Ghana if the EC says they are going ahead. Over four hours, the streets earmarked for the protests in the crowd were clad in red. Traffic blocked angry motorists who vented their spleen on the group. These demonstrators have been working all these hours. They've got into the military zone. They're hell bent on the demands they are pressing. The protests by the inter-party resistance against the new voter register briefly turned chaotic as protesters tried to force their way past police in front of the Jubilee House. The citizens of Ghana are the ones vested with the sovereignty. And therefore, if citizens say that an action of an institution of state is going to be inimical to our survival and cohesion, which almost 30 years we have sustained, they must listen. Well, it does not lie in my mouth to see how he will react to it. But I assure you that this letter I will deliver in person to His Excellency. So whatever he makes of it, you will hear from him. But eventually, they presented a petition to the presidency. Moments thereafter, the crowd moved towards the Electoral Commission with one thing on their mind. You're carrying your mattress. What is this for? This is to serve notice that we will be sleeping with Madame Jean Mensah. We will be sleeping no, with her. No, no, wait, wait, wait. If you say you are going to sleep with her, what do you mean? We will be sleeping with her in her place. We will sleep with her. While she's sleeping, we're also sleeping. We will watch her over the husband. So that the husband can be safe. However, the arrangement to sleep over the Electoral Commission appear not to have been an option for the other leaders of the group. As a group, you guys said you were going to sleep here. Yes. I, I didn't know they wanted to sleep. But I, I, I am aware we are coming to demonstrate and present our petition. We are, we are a reasonable group. You were not aware that they were coming to sleep here I'm tonight? I'm not aware. I'm not aware that anybody was coming to sleep. But I'm aware that we are coming to sit here for an hour and wait for them to come out for us to give our petition. We have not got into the state where we will come and sleep here. Hours after taking over some parts of the street, the commission was the last stop. The experiment you are going to embark on is not right. We cannot take our security, our democracy and our stability for granted. We say enough is enough. Stop tormenting the people of Ghana with the news of you are going to do a new voters register. Above all, it is President Akufado who said that he doesn't need the Electoral Commission to win. So why are you trying to create a situation that will make probably his victory to be um, questionable? This is just the beginning. If you don't listen to us, we will be with you forever. Be assured that the Commission is open to dialogue, is open to engagement. We hope, but at the end of the day, Ghana will be richer with our electoral process. Thank you. So we'll see how it pans out. Kamala Kluchev, TV3 News, Accra.